Good morning, guys. So today is a good day because there's two really important things that's happening. I'm going Christmas shopping. Where they have like Gucci, Louis, Prada, Fendi. Oh, the Fendi store. I said Fendi. No, I just made that up. <laughs> Later on today, I have to go to my doctor to get my blood work done. Y'all already know that I was pregnant. I have to go get weekly blood work done every single week to make sure that the baby has left my body. That whole pregnancy test will be up later on in the video. Right now we're going to the mall and we will see y'all when we get, well you'll see me when you get there. You won't see Drake when you get there. Drake's Drake song? God's play. God's y'all we are finally at this mall and it looks so weird somebody's calling my cell phone it must be rihanna hello rihanna hey how are you you in barbados does perfect even mean is there even such a thing we are in pixels on a so we just got here to the mall and we already saw some really nice cars y'all i saw a Maserati truck a Rolls Royce, and now we're about to walk into Saks Fifth Avenue. Hey, boyfriend, don't turn around. Okay, so I'm about to try on a few outfits for Christmas. I really don't know what I'm gonna wear for Christmas, so I'm gonna try a few outfits on, and you guys wanna tell me which one you like. So, let's try some outfits. So, this first outfit, I think I got this from Queen Nizer when she had the oversized sweater hoodie, and I thought that was super cute when I saw her have it on. So this one has a little hoodie in the back, and it's super long, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's super long, very comfortable and cute. Definitely really stylish for Christmas, and I love how it has the details on the sleeve. So this is definitely one of my picks. So this dress is really, really cute. I love the way that it hugs my body, I like me, I say. I like how soft it is, super, super soft. This is the back of the dress. The only thing that I don't like about this dress is that it's short sleeve. It has no sleeves to it. And it's freezing cold in Maryland. So I think I need like a sweater to go over the dress or something like that. But what do y'all think? Do you think this is cute? Oh no. Yeah, I am so in love with this sweater, but it took me forever to get into. First of all, it's a size too small <laughs> and I almost could not get in here. Pants are so soft. Oh my god. It's like butter. So do y'all like this? So I'm about to go home y'all. I will see y'all when I get home. So guys, I just walked in the house and I am super duper tired right now. I spent so long at that Dago mall that my feet hurt. <laughs> Look how hard I was shopping y'all. I was shopping so hard that I ripped this big old hole in my sweater. This was my favorite sweater and now it's all destroyed from my hard shopping. So I don't have to change my entire outfit. But then I have to go to my doctor's. So outfit then I go to my doctor's. I'll go to my doctor's. Hey. Whew y'all, so I am on my way to my doctor's appointment and I'm not even gonna lie, I'm super nervous right now. Every single time I go here, I always end up crying because this is where I found out that I lost my baby. And it just so happens that so many pregnant women come here. So I cry every single time I see a pregnant woman and then I cry every time I think about my baby there. So this is gonna be super hard for me. I am super stressed out right now because I just came from my doctor's appointment and I was crying inside of the doctor's appointment. I am so kind of like frustrated with myself for crying. I literally was walking down the hall. My heart was pounding so fast and I was super stressed out because I walked past the exact same room that they did an ultrasound on my stomach and found out that the baby was no longer there. So it's just so hard to walk past a room where you found out that your baby basically passed away. Yeah, I'm just getting emotional now. <laughs> I don't know, it was just so hard for me to just be in that place. I'm walking down the hall and I'm just so nervous to get my blood work done. I know that I have to get this pregnancy test done and I know that I'm supposed to be in this place. It's just, just if you've ever had memories of being somewhere and then you go back to that place and it's kind of bad memories you really don't want to be there it's really super heartbreaking to lose a baby and if anybody has ever lost anyone in your life you know what I'm talking about this is just a very hard time for me and like this place just it was 
when I first came to this doctor, it was a place where I was very happy about my pregnancy and my boyfriend was with me, my mom was with me, and my big belly. And now just coming back, oh my God, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> God, I'm just so sad. Oh my God. I hope nobody sees me crying in the car, but just coming back here, where my, where I was so happy about my pregnancy, and now my baby is gone, and I have to still come here. It's just really draining for me. So I am just praying to God that my blood work comes back and says that I'm not pregnant anymore because I'm tired of coming here getting pregnancy tests to see if the baby has, you know, left my body. So, God, I can't believe I'm crying again. <laughs> I probably look so ugly and I'm so sorry. God, my this was just very draining for me. And I just pray that tomorrow my blood work comes back and says that I'm not pregnant anymore. Tomorrow I'm going to find out the test results to my pregnancy test. We're going to find out if they're still, my pregnancy test is still positive or if it's still negative. Hopefully it's negative, meaning that the baby has completely left my body and I can move on. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video where we find out the test results of my pregnancy test. I will see you tomorrow, y'all. Thank you for loving me so much. And I love y'all with all of my heart. Y'all mean the world to me. Y'all are like my best friends, my family. And I love y'all so much. I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.